Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that inflation is due to more than just oil prices. Food prices are now reaching extreme levels. But first, US jobless claims came in low again, reporting only 212,000 new claimants, with the prior week's low revised even lower. Now only 1.56 million people are on these benefits. Supporting these very low rates are data for layoffs, which came in at only under 15,000 in November, the lowest monthly total since May 1993. All eyes are now on tomorrow's non-farm parish report in the US, where a rise of 550,000 is expected in November. There will also be interest in tracking the overall hours worked as well. Global food prices pushed up to a new recent high in November and now only marginally lower than the record high of February 2011. But in inflation-adjusted terms, these prices are now at their highest level in 45 years. Meat and dairy prices are not driving the overall index, but they are rising and near their highs as well. It's hard to see conditions coming where food prices will actually fall back, so this pressure could be long term. Inflation in the OECD area surged to 5.2% in October, the highest rate since 1997 for them. And European producer prices shot up more than expected in October, and the expectation was for a high rate, only they got even more. But that hasn't inhibited international trade in goods yet. Air cargo activity in October shot up 10.4% above October 2019 levels, up 8.6% in Europe, up 18.8% in North America, and up 7.9% in the Asia-Pacific region. In Australia, demand for home loans fell in October, down 2.5% from September. For owner-occupiers, the drop was 4.1%. The year-on-year -year data looks spectacular, but it is pandemic-affected, and it is the monthly retreat that is catching eyes. Not only is housing churn lower there, regulatory pressures are building and there is a sense that a credit crunch is coming just as the market itself is tailing off after a long period of unbridled enthusiasm in Australia. The US Treasury 10-year yield opens today at 1.46% and two basis points higher than this time yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $1,767 an ounce. And that's down $18 or 1% from this time yesterday. And oil prices are languishing just marginally softer at $66.50 a barrel in the US, while the international bread price is just over $69.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens today softer at 68.2 US cents against the Australian dollar, but firmer at 96.1 Australian cents, and against the euro we're also softer at 60.2 euro cents. That means our trade weight index starts today at 72.9 at a level that has changed very little all week. We welcome your feedback on these issues. Leave a comment below or on our website. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.